Hi everyone, this is Selena. I hope you're well. So today I'm bringing to you a, an absolutely lovely project. It's for this feminine um, ear savers um, face mask extender and it's really easy to crochet. It's really cute and um, yes, it can be made for a man or a woman, so obviously this is the female version as you can see because there's the frilly border. But if you just make the body of this project, it will be the man version. And I've um, put really cute floral buttons onto the project which makes it extra feminine too. So you can download the free PDF pattern from my blog, selinaveronique.com and I will be linking everything in the description box too. So for this project, which is super quick and easy, you will need a four millimeter crochet hook, some um, DK weight yarn or in American terms it's called light 3 yarn. I use Stylecraft Special DK. I will be writing all the colours down and everything that I used in the description box and my pattern. You will also be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a darning needle, as well as some thread and I used some gorgeous gorgeous buttons from Amazon and they are 18 millimeter buttons but you can use whichever buttons you have at hand and yes without further ado I'll just jump right into the tutorial and just so you know I will be using US terms. So to begin this pattern you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make a slip knot. Pop your hook through and tighten. And for this pattern you will be chaining 24. So just go ahead and chain 24. One, two, three. So once you've done your 24 chains, you are simply going to be doing a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So just count one, two and three and pop a half double crochet into that stitch. So to do your half double crochet, you are simply going to yarn over, pop your hook into um, the stitch, the chain, Take your yarn, pull through the loops. You have three loops on your hook. Take your yarn and pull through three loops. And the first chain two counts as your first half double crochet. We are simply going to half double crochet into the next chain. So go ahead and half double crochet into that. And into the next half double crochet and into the next and just go ahead and half double crochet into each chain until the end of the row. So here we go, I've just finished my first row so what I am going to do for row two is simply chain two, one and two turn my work like so and this counts as my first half double crochet with that first stitch here so I'm just going to go directly into the second stitch right here and place a half double crochet into that. Like I said the first two chains count as a half double crochet and place a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next one and basically you are simply going to be placing a half double crochet into each and every stitch along until the end of your row. So once you've finished row two, you are simply going to be doing the frill edging or if you are doing the man one, just um, fasten off and skip the frill edging. So basically for the frill edging, just go ahead and chain three, one, 
two and three and you are simply going to skip the second stitch here and go into the third so just go directly into that take your yarn and pull it up and we are simply going to make a single crochet and to make a single crochet you are simply going to pull your yarn through those two loops directly we are simply going to chain three one two and three skip the next stitch and go into the next one and place a single crochet into that we are going to be chaining three one two and three skip one stitch and go into the next and place a single crochet and this creates our frilly effect and I'm just going to let you carry on until you reach the end of the row and then I'll show you what to do. So I've just done my last chain three right here and I'm just simply going to skip that stitch and go into the chain two from the previous row so just pop your hook through and single crochet into that and for the side it's really easy you're simply going to chain three one two and three and turn your work like so and just go into that first stitch right here and place a single crochet into that chain three one two and three and skip the second um, stitch and go into the third and basically you're simply going to repeat what we just did on that um, first row one two and three skip one stitch and go into the next and chain three two and three skip one stitch and go into the next and I'll just let you carry on with this until you reach the end of the side and then you're simply going to do the same that I've just showed you put a single crochet into the last stitch chain three and then you're simply going to join here with a slip stitch once you've joined with a slip stitch you are just simply going to fasten off and tidy up all your loose ends and I'll show you how to sew the buttons onto your project so there we go I've tidied up my loose ends and I've already sewn a button on just to show you the effect so basically for the buttons you are simply going to place them um, equally like so so just one at each end you don't want it to be too near the end so I've kind of placed it about a centimeter away from the very edge and I'm just simply going to do the same thing and I'm I've just um, threaded my needle with some pink um, thread and I'm simply going to flip this over like this and start threading my button in so I'm just going to start by um, creating a knot onto the project and I'm simply going to pop my thread into the button as best I can making it straight and there you go that's how you create this project so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so I'm just going to keep on securing it quite um, tightly because obviously the mask is going to pull onto those so I'm just going to carry on um, sewing and this is how we create this really easy um, ear saver I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up it does help to grow our um, crochet community and in the meantime bye bye